Every year, all the major tech manufacturers release a number of products around the holiday season. This year, one of those products that Google released was the Google Home Hub. The Google Home Hub is a sort of, well, it's the Google Home, but with the screen, to put it lightly. So let's first take a look at the unboxing of it, and then I'll give you my impressions and a first look at the device. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time with the device yet, just a couple days now, so I don't really know the ins and outs just yet. But immediately unboxing this device, I knew there was the same Google quality there as every other device from Google that I've owned, minus Nexus phones. So build quality is definitely an A+, so far as I can tell, at least up until this point. Usability, well, it took me about five minutes to figure out the swipes down to get to the main things, left and right to go through the Google cards. Sound quality, again, compared to my Google Home Minis, it's better than that. It's comparable and on par with the normal Google Homes, and that's more or less what I would expect. Other than that, I mean, you got the interface, you got the build quality, you got the sound quality. There really isn't much more to go over, at least at this point, until I'm able to dive deeper into it. Maybe I can talk about the screen with it being a 7 inch and I mean I haven't done any pixel peeping yet but overall the screen looks more than adequate for exactly what I need it for. The overall setup of the device is, I mean, pretty straightforward. With most of Google's devices, it's an easy process. With this one, it really isn't any different. You turn it on, you get on your phone, go to the Google Home app, and you click add a new device. If you don't wanna go that route, just wait until it pops up at the top of your phone. In terms of how it works with iOS devices, I really don't know. I'm not a big iOS user, so can't help you there. But in terms of Android devices and connecting it to my Google Pixel 2 XL, it's as straightforward as any other Google device. In terms of the user interface, I mean, everything's done with swipes. It's not a full-blown Android experience. I wouldn't expect it to be. It's a branch of the Google Assistant. But like I said, you swipe down from the top and you're going to have most of your options. If you swipe left to right, you're going to get various different cards like you would with the Google Assistant on your phone. Other than that, there really isn't that much to it. Most of the main features you're gonna use are gonna be those. I mean, you're getting this device for the Google Assistant. That's what it's made for. And in terms of what regular people might use it for, I mean, that's gonna come down to what your personal preference is. But me personally, I wanna be able to leave my phone somewhere and use this instead. I wanna be able to get home from work, put my phone down on the counter, and for the rest of the night, not have to deal with it. I'm trying to disconnect, even though this is keeping me connected, if that makes any sense. So my main use for this is just using it as an extension of my phone while being able to leave my phone wherever around the house. And sure, I have other Google Homes around the house, but with this one having a screen, I can still do and manage a couple additional tasks that I need to without my phone. Go ahead and look forward to the full review in the coming months, and I will see you guys next time. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't, well, really don't know why the hell you're still watching this, but whatever. All right, later.
There we go. All right. Take a sip of this first and then let's get going. 